Right, so listen, I want to do an update on Polkadot because, you know, he has been moving and, and we knew, you know, it was only a matter of time. So look at Polkadot right here. Another one that looks incredibly bullish. Polkadot is about to break above, you know, this. I don't know if this is a resistance, to be honest with you guys, but we are about to break above, you know, this level right here uh, on the monthly time. So this 10. $11 resistance. Uh, I don't see polka slowing down anytime soon, you know, until $23. Uh, but on the monthly time, there's only two targets that I'm actually very interested in uh, $23 and, you know, the old time high of $55. Those are the only two targets that I'm interested in. So if you look at the weekly, listen, this thing looks really good. Uh, what you have right here is uh, a brand new you know, weekly run. And, you know, I don't think you get a weekly pullback at least until $23. Uh, there is going to be pullbacks on the short, you know, on the lower time. So maybe you get a pullback on the daily. Maybe you get a pullback. I mean, you, yeah, you definitely are going to get a pullback on the daily, pullback on the four hour, pullback on the one hour, pullback on the 15 minutes. Basically, you know, whatever lower time frame that, that you, uh, that you have on your on your chart, you know, you should see a pullback. But on the weekly, I don't see a pullback until twenty three dollars. And actually, it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if we don't get a weekly pullback at twenty three dollars. Uh, you know, if Polkadot goes to thirty three dollars, and then you know we get a weekly pullback, you know, down to retest twenty three dollars. Uh, but what you have right now is, you know, a fantastic opportunity. If you're looking for trading, uh, weekly trading opportunities, uh, this is actually a very great place to get in. Uh, the reason, you know, simply because, you know, you now have a, you know, clear confirmation of, you know, this breakout. So Polkadot has broken above uh, this weekly high uh, that was supposed to act as a resistance. And now, you know, you basically have a, beginning of a move you know to 23 dollars so if this is a entry right here uh all the way up to 23 uh you're looking at a 118 percent move so this is a big trade right here now you know we we are going to start <clears throat> excuse me we are going to start facing resistance from you know 14 all the way up to 23 because you know on the weekly and on the daily there's a lot in this range right here I mean, you can see there's so much you know, confluence in this range, but I don't worry about fourteen dollars. You know, if listen, if fourteen dollars acts as you know some tough resistance, it's only going to be on the daily. You know, I don't think you know on the weekly this is going to be something that you know that's going to shake uh, Polkadot and that's going to put a lot of more pressure and you know lead to a weekly pullback. I just I don't see that happening. You know, twenty three remains my target. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if we blast above 23 and go all the way up to uh, $33. But you have to be super patient. You know, you have to be super, super patient because here we're dealing with, you know, the weekly time frame. So I'll give you an example. We went from 360 all the way up to nine. It, so, it took some time right here. So it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It took 10 weeks for Polkadot to go from 360 all the way up to 951. So it can take, you know, 10 or 20 more weeks, maybe 10 weeks actually. And it can take another 10 weeks, you know, to go from 10 to $23.61. This is not a prediction, just trying to put things into perspective. If you go down to the daily, uh the daily looks really bullish, all right? Very bullish, but you know, again, it just it's a lot of volatility on the daily. Uh, if you go to the four hour, you know, even more volatility, uh, but the four hour actually looks really good. Uh, it looks like we are going to see, uh, I mean, we have a, a breakout right here. So it looks like we have another run. So yeah, listen, get ready for, you know, $11 polka. And, you know, you go to the one, yeah, the one hour also looks really good. I'm sure the 15 minutes looks great. Yeah. 15 minutes also looks great. Uh, but I'm not interested in any of those, you know, lower time. Uh, I continue to believe 
that if you really, really want to capture, you know, the biggest gains from this market, you, know, you gotta you gotta play with the higher time frames, right? It is the it's the only way to get a five x. It is the only way to get a ten x. It is the only way to get any meaningful return from you know your investment. <coughs> Excuse me, but that is Polkadot right there. Uh, let me know in the comment section, you know, your thoughts on the project. Also want to make a few comments right here, guys. Uh, you have, of course, Coinbase going absolutely nuts. Listen, I remember Coinbase pulling back, uh, you know, at $120, uh, just below $120. And I remember, you know, literally, you know, begging you guys to get into a position because you know, this thing was going to run very hard, you know, very hard after. So uh, if you look at the performance of, you know, Coinbase, it is up 115% since this pullback. And this is nothing right here. All right. This is absolutely nothing. Coinbase is minimum going to $500. This is the same prediction I've been making since right now, nah, 30 uh, 40, what is 40? Since right here, guys, in the $40 range, I was predicting that this is one of the most obvious plays in this bull market. And my minimum price target is $500. So $500 right here. It wouldn't surprise me. All right. It would absolutely not surprise me if we hit $1,000. But I'm first going to stick with that $500 target. We first got to get to $500 target, and then we can do an update on, you know, where Coinbase goes from here. If you listened to the information I provided and you got into a position in the $40 range, let's say your average is 45, you should be up about, you know, 484% right now. 400%. I mean, this is incredible absolutely incredible anyways guys listen that was coinbase uh polka dot and jasmine hope you guys enjoyed those those three updates uh, i want to get into you know your favorite tokens all right want to talk about what you guys have in the comment section uh your thoughts on the market you know some of the stuff that you guys are in uh yeah that's what we're gonna do right now and let me just say this right now guys listen um if you want to join us, uh, there's a, I have a trading group, uh, should be a link in the chat. It is actually pinned. It's only $10 a month, you know, join us, you know, see what we are all about. If you like it, stick around. If you don't like it, you don't have to stick around. Uh, but I think, you know, the, the results, you know, speaks for themselves. So again, really, really appreciate. And if you are here, just please do us a favor, continue to smash the like button. Very important stuff. Continue to subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, chat, listen, we are very close to 8,000 subscribers. So, yeah, let's see how far, you know, let's see how long it takes us to get to 8,000. Uh, London Stock Exchange is to accept applications for the Bitcoin and Ethereum. Listen, these guys, they doesn't matter what country uh, they have no they have no choice but to accept it. The people want, you know, the people want it. So just give the people what they want. Uh, anyways, uh, let's. No, I don't give daily signals. Listen, I'm not a day trader. Uh, I don't give daily signals. I mean, listen, I. I look at charts and I analyze and I look at something that looks good. You know, I just, you know, I put it in the, in the group, uh, what people do with it, it is totally up to them. Uh, yeah, I don't do I don't give daily signals. I just, I don't day trade. So yeah, I just, it's a lot of work that goes into that. I, I'm absolutely not a day trader, so I don't give day and listen, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say this, right? <clears throat> The less trades you take, <laughs> the more trades you take, the more you actually lose. All right. If you want to be a real winner, you take less trades, all right? Stay concentrated and take less trades. I don't take a lot of trades. I take only a few trades and I'm comfortable with that. And that's exactly what I recommend. You know, some people take 20 trades a day, you know, 40 trades a month. Yeah, something, something is not right with that. 
The less trades you take, the more you actually win in the market. Over trading is not good.